Hello everyone, Pete Brooker here from Taylor's With Love. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some pieces from the new NPL James Bond collection unveiled last night for James Bond Day. Wow, what an event. Uh, so we're going to focus primarily on this Milano knitted jacket, waistcoat and tie inspired by the look in Goldfinger when Bond debriefs M about the long lasting damage that occurs when you cover someone entirely in gold paint. You'll be hearing thoughts from my clothing twin and co-host Matt Spacer from the Suits of James Bond who attended the unveiling of the collection in the NPL store in New York City. I won't be doing an unboxing video in this because somebody crushed the party. <laughs> We'll get to that later. Okay, stay tuned. So before we start talking about the MPL collection, let's take a closer look at the scene that inspired this look. And here's Matt Spacer to break these clothes down for us. Okay, so in the original scene, when Bond walks into, uh, you know, see Money Penny and M, he's wearing something actually that's a bit unusual for Bond to wear to the office. Well, so we've we've already seen this. That's the third time that we see Bond in the office. The first time he is also not wearing office wear because he's he's just come from the casino and he's wearing his his um, midnight blue dinner suit in Doctor No. Now, in *Much with Love*, we're seeing him, we're seeing Bond in his classic office wear, just a um, a city suit, a, a blue suit, blue shirt. But then in *Goldfinger*, he's wearing something very unusual to the office. It's a very special outfit. So he's wearing a tweed suit. Well, a tweed-like suit, a, a houndstooth check, a brown houndstooth check suit, and a in a country style with a hacking pockets, a long double, sorry, a long single vent. It's it's very similar to his hacking jacket that he wears later in the film. And then underneath that, he's wearing a um, a waistcoat, a a very a country style waistcoat, and he's wearing a knitted tie. Now, people have debated whether this tie is brown or olive. It's hard to tell on the film. So he's, but he's wearing these, these kind of country-like clothes to the office, which is very unusual for Bond. But he is wearing these most likely because this was leftover clothing from his previous film, Woman of Straw, which took place in the country. And the, these clothes look perfect in that setting. A little awkward in the office setting, but... That's a classic Bond outfit now. We, you know, it's it's been over over fifty years, and this outfit is is now part of the classic Bond look. Even though it was a little strange for Bond to wear that to the office. Nice one, Matt. Thanks a lot for that. And so let's take a look at the garment itself. Here I have it hanging on the mannequin, the female mannequin. So it's going to drape oddly. Don't ask me why. I've got a female mannequin lying around the house. Here is a closer look at the fabric, and as you can tell, it's a beautiful cashmere fabric. The pockets, two skirt pockets at the bottom, open patch pockets, and one top breast pocket that you can snug, uh, like I've crudely done there, a pocket handkerchief in. So you can wear the lapels open, uh, the notch lapels here, they've got a buttonhole where you can close them and it comes like a narrow jacket. And you can see here, oh, these are cool. You've got the double vents. I should notice you'll also see a little bit of piling that's happened. I've worn this solidly now for a couple of days. And if I can offer any advice, having worn this jacket for two days straight, I suggest that the most action that this jacket will see will be around the seat area and in the open pockets on the front. You will see some slight piling where I've put my hands in the pockets. I'm not going to be doing that anymore. And you can see where I've been sitting down in this jacket for lunch, dinner, etc. Um, and that's that's seen some action at the back there. So I reckon if you're going to sit down, if you're indoors, certainly take the jacket off and refrain from actually using those front pockets because... I mean, I only put like headphones and like my little mints in there, but even just going in and out, in and out of those pockets most of the day, you can see that it's had an effect on the garment. But this is to be expected from a cashmere garment, and this is 100% cashmere. And NPL uh, are really good in this way because they do have a lot of the products on their website, the cashmere care, the combs, the brushes, uh, the creams, etc. They even have the bags where you can store your garments in, so that will prevent all the moths getting to it. So I'm going to definitely be investing that. 
So moving on to the cuffs, you have four buttons here on the sleeve hem and one of them has a, a lovely little red accent there that you can see that really distinguishes the garment. It has one top working soldier cuff here that you can undo. I'm pretty sure you can unpick the other three but I've chosen not to so I'm just going to keep it like that. And here are the buttons on the front placket and like I say you can actually do this jacket up, fold the lapels in and it acts as a narrow jacket, a really cool feature. So let's have a closer look at the waistcoat now. Uh, six button, mother of pearl. The buttons are beautiful, by the way. We'll get onto that in a sec. But look inside the two skirt pockets here. You have this nice brown felt that's stitched in onto the inside. That's going to offer some structure. So the pockets are going to keep their shape. They're not going to collapse over time. And you can stick your fingers all the way in there. Very nicely done. Uh, down at the bottom it's almost like it's a mitered cuff at the bottom cut away there that looks fantastic and round the back let me just show you around the back here down at the bottom you've got this like elasticated hem so that's going to offer you some additional fit uh, it's beautifully soft and uh, I'm going to try and get you close in so you can see some of the grays and the whites going on in there it really has a wonderful texture to it so Blair Ballard calls this the strokeability factor. <laughs> you do, it's, you really do want to touch this garment. Let me show you the inside. So you've got the label there. Uh, hold on a second, there we go. Let me just take a picture of it. You've got the logo, I'm a small, and that's what I've gone. Also, you can see the brown felt on the top there. Closer look at the label here. It's 100% cashmere, as you can see, and there's also some care information, as you'd expect, really, from a garment like this. Look at those buttons. Oh, Jesus. And finally, let's have a look at the cashmere tie. Yeah. Oh, so we haven't talked much about the tie. Sure. So it, can we just get a close-up look of the tie? Yeah. Let me, let me bring that in. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a it's a knitted tie, correct? Yes, it's a knitted tie. So, no, but it's a, it's a somewhat fine knitted. You don't really see the chunkiness in it, do you? It, you, you don't, don't see the, the chunkiness, but it has some weight to it. So yeah. With a lot of ties, but it also has that square hem finish as well that you'd see on a lot of knitted ties. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so we've had a look at the Goldfinger waistcoat and jacket and tie. Let's have a quick overview of the other products. Matt recorded some footage whilst he was out in New York City for the unveiling of the collection there. David Zaritsky and the other Bond influencers are going to talk you through this. Yeah. yeah, hey Jeff. So, what are you wearing? Well, I'm wearing an Lazenby inspired outfit here when he's escaping P's Gloria. Uh, hopefully, you're gift wrapped. This is his uh, skiing outfit. He goes down the mountain and eventually finds Tracy down there and hops into the uh, Kruger with Tracy. Goes all around the stock car sequence. Eventually, asks her to marry him in this outfit, actually. So, what do you think of it? I, I, it's too super comfortable. Uh, I'm going to be forced to buy it. Like, forced. <laughs> and then I mentioned again that he's totally a what a guy. Yeah. Jeff, even though the American dollar is just killing our Canadian pocket, Jeff's like, Murr, you know what? You look so good in that. I wish no, I could no, get no. some seeds and grow a whole field in it. It's so lush. The fibers are thin and it's your perfect layering outfit for a spring or fall. Right? You can put this over top when you're chilly. Right? Or put something over top of this if you're cold. It's, it's amazing. So it's like good with the Billy Ray P code as well. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. No, we're uh, we're two very very happy hold up Canadians. And believe me, in Canada, we need it. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. So Harris, what are you wearing? I am wearing the Living Daylights five button polo. You'll remember this when Timothy Dalton Bond shoots Pushkin, or does he shoot him? I don't really know. I haven't seen the movie. I'll wait for the Being James Bond review, uh, which you can't see as he's right here. Hey, John Broaden, what are you wearing? I'm wearing the George Lazenby uh, gray, or um, actually it's more of a brown color with the orange mock sweater. How does that feel? It feels really good. I'm wearing essentially two sweaters, but it feels real nice. Yeah, you're not too hot in that. No, I'm not. It, it, bre hot. it breathes well? It breathes very well. You guys should really phone ahead though when you're going to wear an outfit. <laughs> just so someone, just you should be in your own WhatsApp group <laughs> now. <yeah. laughs> I like it. It's good, isn't it? It's great, 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 great. <laughs> As you can tell, we had a lot of fun. Uh, it's just a few other bits from the collection. This chunky knit crew neck and quilted gilet from for your eyes only boy that's beautiful that's on the shopping list as is this roll neck from live and let die i believe they call it a turtleneck and we will be doing a 
big overview of this collection, a proper unboxing vid. So that's all to come, but we just wanted to show you a couple of pieces for now. And we've had a couple of questions already so far. Do we have to buy them as a bundle or can we buy them individually? So you can buy the jacket for 795, the waistcoat for 329 and the tie for 95. You can absolutely buy these individually. And you can go over to the MPL site, massively recommend you do because in 11 days from now, they'll be dropping a commercial and the collection. The commercial we saw, Adam Holdsworth showed us this video. It was absolutely amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see it. And so finally, over to Matt Spacer. He's gonna have the final word on this. Okay. So I'm wearing the Goldfinger office outfit made up of a, um, a, a cashmere jacket and a cashmere waistcoat and a cashmere tie. So this outfit, it's, a, it's, a, it's inspired by that, even though it's not an exact replica, but it's a, I think it's a great idea that NPO had to replicate a tailored outfit into a more casual card. Do a more casual knitwear look. 